I'm Ashley from homelikeyoumeanit.com. I'm a true color expert and decorator, and today we're gonna to talk about taupe paint colors. So if you are tired of the grays, but you're not quite ready to bring back the beiges, I feel you, um, taupes are a great medium paint color. So the way I was taught, taupes are warmer than grays, but they're cooler than beiges. So there's this really good in-between paint color. They don't work for every situation in every room. Um, and I have a blog post that kind of further explains that if you want more of that information. But today I'm going to talk about seven of my favorite taupe paint colors. So let's get into it. Okay, so we are going to kick things off with one of the best-selling taupe paint colors of all time. That is Benjamin Moore Pale Oak. So this is a taupe grayish. It's very, very light. Um, it's got a pink undertone that kind of leans a little bit into purple sometimes. This is a great color for those neutral fabric fabrics with that soft pink undertone, which a lot of linen fabrics have. So this is pale oak. Okay, the next color on my list is a Benjamin Moore Panda White. Now, this is where going off of just the paint color names will really steer you in the wrong direction. They call this a white, but you can see I've got um, a pure white poster board behind Panda White. It is anything but. So this is a taupe. This is a grayish. It's a very, very light. It definitely has a pink undertone, and sometimes it leans a little bit into the yellow side of things. So it's kind of like a pinky yellow, um, but this is Panda White. Next up is Benjamin Moore Wind's Breath. So this is also a taupe grayish, but it really, it leans into the pink and the purple side of the taupe undertones, which some taupes do that. Um, I'm going to just compare it with uh, Panda White, so you can kind of just get a comparison there. You can see that purple popping out, you can see the pink. The pink is not as defined as Panda White, so that is Wind's Breath. Okay, moving on to a great taupe color for exteriors because taupes are really, really necessary when um, matching um, paint colors with some of the hard finishes of exteriors like stone and some brick. So this is Benjamin Moore Stone Hearth. This leans into both the pink and purple. It's a darker paint color. It'll look brighter outside than it does right here, but this is a great color to complement st taupe stone or taupe colored brick. Next on my list is Benjamin Moore Cedar Key. So this is not a grayish, so it's not quite as light as some of the other colors I've showed you, but it's a good medium to light paint color. It's a taupe that has both pink and purple undertones. Benjamin Moore Smoky Taupe. This is one of Benjamin Moore's most sampled taupes in that kind of medium to light range. It has a pink undertone. I don't really see too much purple, um, but this is a really pretty, slightly darker taupe. Works beautifully on cabinetry um, in small rooms. I wouldn't use this in a you know, an open concept space because it is dark, which is not really what a lot of people want right now. Um, but this is a really pretty medium to light uh, taupe color with a pink undertone. Okay, last on the list is Benjamin Moore Ranch Wood. So another great color for exteriors. This is a darker paint color. Again, it's going to look lighter outside than it does in my house right now. Um, this has got a pretty strong purple undertone, so it's really going to work well for those stones with strong purple undertones, which a lot of natural stone has that purple undertone or brick with more of a purplish undertone. So this is Benjamin Moore Ranch Wood. Okay, now I just want to uh, finally put all the colors up next to each other. This is the best way to pick a paint color. Never, never, never sample paint colors in isolation. That gets you in trouble so quickly. Um, it's nearly impossible to tell the undertone, but when you sample many colors in the same family. You can very quickly see the color depth, the undertone. It's just a much better way to sample paint color. So I just want to put these up one final time so that you can kind of get an idea of um, how they look in comparison with, that, with one another. So this is Panda White, Pale Oak. As you can see, the purple is practically screaming at you. Wind's Breath. Cedar Key, Stone Hearth, these are the colors for the exteriors, Ranch Wood, and then finally Smoky Taupe. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you learned something. Like I said, I do have a paint color blog um, reviewing tons more taupe colors, plus tips on how to know if you need a taupe 
So if you're interested in that, I will link that below, but thanks for watching.